Chris Rock is a comedian. What comedians do, they can do this better than anybody else. They can take a real life situation and make it funny. I seen a man stand up for his wife, which we don't see that much anymore. That made me have hope. I really, um, you know, admire him for standing up for his wife. He's protecting his wife. Well, where was her protection of a man when she was at the red table talking about what she was doing with this entanglement? I think a long time coming for him. And it's a lot of emotion. It's probably all welling up in him right now. We can think of a dozen actors who, if they'd done something similar, we wouldn't be surprised. What's crazy to me, though, is the fact that the Academy let him get up there. He makes this bizarre speech. By the way, and not feel... an apology, a justification for what he did. They were trying desperate measures to try and get some attention for social media. And then, as always happens in award shows, the unscripted moments uh, are the ones you remember. Something else is going on deeper because he should have been pushed over the edge last year when she got the round table talking about an entanglement. Go fight that dude. But a far better way to do it would have been to walk out of the Oscars in protest. Violence is never the answer. Okay, Will and Chris, we're gonna solve that like family at the gold party. This was embarrassing to the highest degree. Celebrities react to Will Smith slapping Chris Rock during the Oscars. What is going on that people are defending this? Tempers seem to have been at an all-time high during Sunday's Oscar ceremony, and especially for Will Smith, who decided to get violent on stage. So why exactly did Will Smith get violent? And how did the other celebrities react to it? Well, during Sunday night's Oscar ceremony, Will Smith shocked the room by approaching the stage and slapping presenter Chris Rock in the face after the comedian made a joke about Smith's wife, actor Jada Pinkett Smith. Chris was on the Oscar stage to present the award for Best Documentary. He began by making a few jokes about members of the show's audience, including Pinkett Smith, referring to her as G.I. Jane due to her closely cropped hair. At first, when watching the telecast, it wasn't clear if the assault was staged, but after Smith slapped Rock, the show's audio cut out immediately and remained muted as Chris said, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me while Smith walked away. Will then continued to yell at Chris while seated, saying, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. After the incident, Chris went on to present the documentary prize to Summer of Soul director Questlove. Later backstage, Chris played down his violent encounter with Smith. According to one witness, Chris referenced Smith's portrayal of Muhammad Ali in the Oscar-nominated biopic about the late boxer. That's the only time you get hit by Muhammad Ali and it doesn't leave a scratch, he purportedly said. But as much as he tried to play cool, many celebrities who had attended the event were still left in shock after Will's violent reaction. One of the celebrities, Sean Diddy Combs, who came on stage after Chris to introduce a clip montage celebrating the 50th anniversary of The Godfather, referenced the occasion as one of the most exciting Oscars ever. I didn't know that this year was going to be the most exciting Oscars ever. Okay, Will, Chris, we're gonna solve that like family. But right now, we're moving on with love, he said. Denzel Washington also tried to resolve the issue by discreetly pulling Will aside during the commercial break. When the show came back from the commercial, Denzel appeared to be kneeling with his arm around Jada Pinkett Smith, as if trying to comfort her. Tyler Perry also joined Washington and Smith during the commercial break. Afterward, the Smiths were seen holding hands at their seat for the rest of the show. Amy Schumer, who was a co-host of the show, also made a quick quip about Rock and Smith. I've been getting out of that Spider-Man costume. Did I miss anything? She asked as the audience, including Smith, laughed. She then went on to add, There's like a different vibe in here. Probably not. Well, anyway, okay. Will and Jada's son, Jaden Smith, was also not left behind. The 23-year-old rapper made a succinct comment about his father's altercation with Rock. And that's how we do it, he tweeted. Also speaking from the after party, actor Minnie Driver said it was hard to watch the altercation unfold. We were all privy to something that was emotions running really high, she said, adding that she hoped they will make up later. Actress and director Sophia Bush also tweeted about the incident, saying violence isn't okay. Assault is never the answer. Other celebrities, such as Mia Farrow, defended Rock's remarks, tweeting, It was just a joke. Jokes are what Chris Rock does. Always has been edgy. That was a mild joke for him. And I love G.I. Jane. 
Although it was not clear why Will Smith chose to respond with violence, fans are speculating that it has to do with Jada's alopecia, which she has spoken about in the past. The 50-year-old singer-actress posted a video to Instagram on December 28th last year, in which she confronts her battle with the autoimmune disorder alopecia, which can cause hair loss and balding. Now, at this point, I can only laugh, Jada said in the video while running her fingers along her bald scalp, which includes a prominent ridge near the front of her hairline. Y'all know I've been struggling with alopecia, and just all of a sudden one day, look at this lime right here. Look at that. So it just showed up like that, and it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to hide, she added of the ridge. So I thought I'd just share it so y'all are not asking any questions. The 40-second video's caption said it all. Mama's gonna have to take it down to the scalp so nobody thinks she got brain surgery or something. Me and this alopecia are gonna be friends, period. Jada first discussed her alopecia battle in 2018, describing to viewers of her Facebook watch show the moment she first realized her hair was falling out. It was terrifying when it first started, she said. I was in the shower one day and had just handfuls of hair in my hands, and I was just like, oh my god, am I going bald? She said she'd found a treatment to slow down the loss. I'm getting my little steroid injections, and they seem to be helping, but not curing. But they seem to be helping, but I'm open to other ideas, she said. Seeing that this was not the first time Rock had made a joke about Pinkett Smith at the Oscars, most fans have sided with Smith, claiming that his actions were justified. The first time Chris poked fun at Jada was during the 2016 ceremony, which he hosted and made fun of her for boycotting that year's ceremony. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties, Rock said at the time. I wasn't invited. However, despite Will's reasons for punching Chris being valid to some fans, many people are still concerned that he might actually have to return his award since the Academy does not tolerate such acts of violence. An Academy librarian also confirmed that this was likely the first time there had been real violence on stage at the ceremony. Smith, who was in attendance at this year's Oscars to collect the Best Actor prize for his performance in King Richard, gave a tear-filled speech in which he compared himself to Richard Williams, a man who was also known as a fierce defender of his family. I know to do what we do, you've got to be able to take abuse, he said. You've got to be able to have people disrespecting you, and you've got to smile, and you've got to pretend like that's okay. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. Love will make you do crazy things. He concluded his speech by apologizing to the Academy and to his fellow nominees. I hope the Academy invites me back, Smith added. Fans were quick to comment on the incident with one particular fan saying, telling a joke in front of millions of people that was making fun of someone's medical condition is wrong. Physically striking someone because you don't like the words they said is also wrong. Both of them were out of line. Not a fan of violence, but I got to say I respect a man who stands up for his wife. He humiliated the man who humiliated her, another fan wrote. Other fans are convinced that the whole altercation was staged to make the ceremony more interesting. I actually think that was staged. The Oscars have been losing their audiences a lot the past couple years, so I don't know. They did some changes this year and needed to get people's attention back. Yeah, this can be quite real, but who knows? Hollywood. Yeah, one fan wrote. Another fan added, staged, slow. Lomo. Rock has feet spread, arms behind back, smiling and almost leans into it. Would you if a man was approaching in an unpredictable way? No. What's going on? The hit is a side hand chop. A third fan added, a pure stage. Chris Rock was leaning forward, embracing himself, and never felt his face after the slap. Hands remain clasped behind his back, even after being slapped. Not a normal behavior in my opinion. My take is this was staged for some reason. Ratings, perhaps? However, according to reports made by Vanity Fair, people who had attended the rehearsals were huddled around their phones, watching replays of the incident. I don't think that's a joke, one woman said. Two others chimed in and said, look, we went to rehearsals and that was not in Chris Rock's script. Well, despite their altercation on Sunday, Chris Rock and Will Smith crossed paths several times this Oscar season. In fact, at the National Board of Review Gala in mid-March, Chris, who was on hand to present Paul Thomas Anderson with an award, took a moment to praise Smith, another winner that night, for his performance in King Richard. So, do you think the incident was staged? And if not, was Will Smith justified to punch Chris? Let us know in the comment section below. And in case you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other video about how Jada brainwashed Will. And as always, thanks for watching.